What's up, everybody? So, I'm going to be on another episode of 2020. However, this is going to be a different kind of episode. I, uh, I'm going making this video, and I'm going to forward this video to the producer of 2020 himself. And what I want from you guys is to leave your comments down in the comment section on what you want brought to light to the spotlight of the national media about truck about the truck driving industry whatever issues you have uh, whether it be the rules and regulations uh, parking uh, wh whatever whatever kind of issue you feel needs to be brought to light in the industry uh, the people at 2020 will see your concerns will see your comments and ideas uh, I know that a lot of drivers out there believe that that episode of 2020 I was on put truck drivers in a bad light, made them out to be villains and bad people and drug addicts. And, you know, I've seen the comments, I've seen the controversy, and uh, I want to do my part to to fix this issue. Uh, you know, I, I initially thought when I saw watched the episode that, yeah, the, the first part of that video was pretty horrendous uh, to the trucking industry. And then I then they put my part on there, and I kind of viewed that as okay. People may see some drivers doing these things, but they may link what happened to me with these other drivers, and you know, basically that these drivers are doing what they do because companies are pushing them. Which that's that's also a bad portrayal. Even even if that's what the public did pick up on, that is obviously a bad portrayal of of, of drivers. So. You know, I, I do want to correct this. You know, and I don't I don't believe that the people at 2020 did this intentionally. Uh, I I think that they they themselves are, are ignorant in the most literal sense about what happens out here. Uh, so I want as many drivers to leave their thoughts in the comment section on what the national news uh, needs to highlight to the country about the trucking industry. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to take the, you know, in a few days I'll send this video over and I'm going to tell them, hey, these, the, whatever, whatever the concerns may be, these are the most uh, talked about concerns of the industry by actual drivers. And this is, this is what I want to do the episode on. And if, uh, if this next episode, I, I get the hint that it puts drivers in a bad light, uh, I, I simply put, will not do the episode I won't I won't I won't allow them to do another interview with me uh, plain and simple you know because that's that's a, the, the intent of that video uh, at least my, my the interview I did with 2020 was not to make truck drivers look bad it was to show that some companies put an extreme amount of pressure on drivers to to do whatever they want them to do and that was simply it. So, so I mean, a lot of you guys um, didn't didn't agree with that episode. So I'm gonna do my my best to make this right by the drivers of America here. And you know, I like I said, I want to see your concerns, and I'm gonna bring that to 2020. You know, and also along the way, you know, through this whole thing, I had a pretty I had a pretty large audience uh, that watched this. And through the people at 2020, I made some uh, pretty pretty good connections to have, uh, and also just through through being on 2020, other people have commented and got in contact with me. You know, people like uh, you know trucker rights advocate lawyers, and you know a couple of people at the FMCSA, uh, a couple of DOT officers even, and uh, just they you know a lot of a lot of good people to have. You know, and I know I know that a lot of these people are watching. So, please, I want everyone to share this video and put your comments and concerns and ideas down in the comment section. You know, you could either speak up and put your whatever thoughts you may have down in the comment section, or, or choose not to. And uh, you know, this you know the national media will never know what you're thinking. So. You know, I'm going to try and do right by this, and uh, yeah, 
you know, I'll do my best. And even if I don't end up doing this interview, you know, I gained a pretty good audience even here on YouTube. You know, and I know a lot of those folks that have recently subscribed to this channel, uh, you know, I, I'm pretty sure a lot of them aren't truck drivers. So I'll do my best on this channel to to show your your concerns, things that you want brought to light. I'll do my best to show what you want shown. Plain and simple. You know, honestly, my intent of doing the interview was not to make truck drivers look bad, so... So I apologize to those of you who feel like I'm the uh, the worst person on earth. Uh, you know that's that completely was not my intent. You know, uh, you know I, I came under personal attack from a lot of people, which you know I, I kind of figured would happen. Uh, you know, the people at 2020 told me that roughly about nine million people were going to see the episode, so I figured there'd be some negativity but it's really uh really disheartening to see that pretty much all the negativity is coming from 100 percent truck drivers and not only that is because i do i have a lot of support from truck drivers as well however then i see truck dri truck drivers fighting with other truck drivers and you know that's that was not the intent of what i was trying to do you know, I wasn't trying to represent the whole trucking industry. I was trying to tell my story of what happened to me. And I know what happens to others out there on the road. And that's all I was trying to do. So so I'll try to do right by uh, the drivers out there that, that, that watch this. Uh, please try to share it. I want, I want all the drivers' voices to be heard. You know, and uh, like I said, the people at 2020 are going to see this video in all of the comments. So... Uh, and what you know another thing too I mean if I'm going to send this video over no matter what I mean if it gets nasty and disgusting and and hateful in the comment section they're gonna see that you know if you have legitimate things that you really want brought to light they're gonna see that as well so now the power is in your hands on how you want truck drivers to be perceived by the media